Hey guys, it's Half I am back again. This is going to be the third, uh, sixth, sorry, sixth and final part of my purple nail polish comparison. So let's just get into it. First of all, I'm going to compare these two polishes here. This one is from Saks. It is number 55. Saks doesn't give names to their polishes. I have this one and a grey one, which I absolutely love from Saks. They're actually really nice nail polish most of the time. So, um, of the ones I've tried anyway. Uh, so there's that one. I'm going to compare it to this one from Orly, which is Plum Sugar. Saks number 55. A little bit sheer on the first coat, but it will build up. And the oily plum sugar. first glance after just like it's a little bit sheer too on the first coat um, it's it's a bit darker but we'll see what happens when we do the next coat the next two I am going to compare is this one from L'Oreal this one is Paparazzi Pleaser number 510 it's not the only 510 they have, but that happens to be that one. And this one is Vanity Flare from Sally Hansen at Triple Shine. So you can see that the L'Oreal is quite thin on the first coat. Um, there's some fluff on the wheel that is not the polish. <laughs> and Vanity Flare from Sally Hansen Triple Shine is another polish that is a little bit thin on the first coat, but it also is coming across a lot pinker, a lot more warm toned than Paparazzi Pleaser. Next, we have these three. We have from MUD or Mud Electrify It, which is more of a pinky kind of pebble. I'm going to compare it to this Maybelline Color Show, which is a Fuchsia Fever. And this Orly, which is B Daring. So first of all, we will do Electrify It. So these are like uh, neon pebbles. Quite a bit of pink in them, but like super bright. So that is Electrify It. And then Fuchsia Fever. It's a bit thinner, a bit sheerer. But colour-wise, it seems to be actually quite similar. And then all these be daring. Is a lot more purple than the other two. And slightly more opaque on the first coat. Then we're going to do three more. And again, we have a um, Orly that we're going to do Ultra 3's Palette Play. Um, Alecchio, which I did in my last video, I did one of theirs. Um, this one is Perlin. And Orly's Candy Shop. So we'll start with the Ultra 3. Which is a little bit 
um, thin on the first coat, a little bit sheer. Seems to be the story of this particular swatch session. Then Perlin from Alecchio. Look at that. Most people probably get away with one coat with that polish. Such a nice polish brand. Wish it was cheaper. <laughs> and a little easier to get hold of. And Candy Shop. From Ollie is a lot like uh, Palette Play. A little bit sheer on the first coat. Slightly pinker than the other two. The next three we're going to look at are these three. So from Sally Hansen Lacquer Shine line, we have Flair, number five. From Ultra 3, we have Orchid. And from BYS, we have High Impact Purple. So the Sally Hansen, oops, sorry guys, a little bit sheer on the first coat. I have this problem a lot with Sally Hansen polishes that are not like complete salon malincule on. They're like sheer on the first coat. And then Orchid. From Ultra 3, I actually got given this by one of my clients because she accidentally bought two bottles. So much darker. They look similar in the bottle, on the nail, not so much. And then High Impact Purple from BYS. Again, another polish that's touched sheer on the first coat. But we'll get there. And then the last two polishes that I'm going to compare are actually both from China Glaze. They are different, but they are very similar as well. So this one is from the Holographic line. And this one is When Stars Collide. And this one here is Joy, which I believe is from the Romantic collection. Um, the holographic in When Stars Collide is not super duper strong. It's not as strong as Don't Be a Lunatic. It's there, it's just not as strong. Oops. Uh, so. That is the first coat of When Stars Collide. And. Joy is very much the same, sorry you guys didn't even see that, Joy is very much the same colour but without the holographic shimmer, um, the holographic shimmer actually makes it look lighter, but they are actually quite a similar, like the base of them is very very similar. So let's go back around to the start. And we have sax number 55. The second coat pretty much makes it opaque. I can see a little bit of patchiness and it kind of picks up on itself, which is a little annoying. However, I really like this colour, so I can I can put up with a lot for a really good colour. And then Orly's Plum Sugar. So, all these plum sugar is darker than sax number 55. Sax number 55 has more pink to it. So they're kind of similar, they're both dark purples, but they're not definitely not the same. The uh, sax number 55 is almost um, a damson kind of colour, like a plummy purple. 
but they're both really beautiful, they're just not the same. Uh, so next we have Paparazzi Pleaser from L'Oreal. Which even on the second coat is still a little bit sheer. And yes, I know there are fluffies on this one. Nice colour formula is not the best. I have quite a few of these L'Oreal, like in this particular bottle. And most of them, the formula is actually really good. But some of them are just a bit off. Oops. And Salon Hansen Triple Shine in Flare. No, not Flare. Um, vanity Flare. So in the bottle, they did look very similar. But they are clearly not the same colour. Um, vanity Flare is a lot more pink. It's a lot warmer toned than um, the Paparazzi Pleaser. Paparazzi Pleaser is a cooler toned purple. So, yeah, not the same. Okay, MUD's Electrify It. As you can see, it is dried almost matte. Oh, sorry, I keep hitting the camera. Trying to video around a camera, like put your hands around it while you're like videoing is actually kind of hard, guys. <laughs> Not gonna lie. So that is Electrify. It is a really nice, bright, pinky purple, um, almost neon. It's making the camera freak out a little bit, I think. Uh, looks like it in the viewfinder. Fuchsia Fever from uh, Maybelline Color Show. A lot thinner. This is almost a jelly. I reckon if you put glitter in between that, uh, you'd be able to see it quite easily. And it's another one that's kind of picking itself up a little. Um, yeah, so the color is actually quite similar. Um, the Electrify it is just more opaque. It's more pigmented and opaque than the um, Maybelline. But they are actually really similar in colour. And then uh, Be Daring from Orly is a different type of purple. Similar idea, but different type of purple. It's like really bright and happy and everything but it's just not the same colour. It's a lot cooler toned. Um, there's a lot more pinky red base to um, the MUD polish than there is to the Orly. The Orly is definitely a bit more blue toned. Um, personally I actually prefer the Orly, like the colour of the Orly. This one's leaning towards a berry. This one's definitely purple. So, and the Maybelline is kind of just sitting there in the middle like because it's a bit naff. Ultra 3 palette play. It was like I didn't even have any polish on the brush. It's like a greyed out purple. Kind of like a muted purple. It's really pretty. Um, it's like greyed out. It's like um, heather coloured. Um, Perlin from Alecchio. Probably don't even need the second coat on this one because the formula is so good. <sighs> Such a nice polish. Like really, they are. If you can get your hands on this brand, I would absolutely recommend it. It's. I only have two of them and they are both fantastic and I love both of them. They both happen to be purple. <laughs> uh, yeah, the colour's clearly not the same. Um, the Alecchio one is brighter. It's not quite as muted as the Palette Play one from Ulta 3. Um, they're similar. They're just not exactly the same. Like In the viewfinder, they look identical. To the naked eye, they do not look identical. 
and Ollie's Candy Shop. Um, is again kind of muted. Like a muted out colour, but it is quite a bit lighter than the other two. It doesn't have quite the same colour. It's kind of like the lighter version of palette play. Whereas the Alecchio one just has a touch more brightness to it. Again, they are very similar though. And looking at it in the viewfinder, like the, in the viewfinder they look identical, even though they don't to the naked eye. And I'm sure when I watch the video back they won't look identical either. It's just funny how that happens. Um, and we have Flare from Sally Hansen Lacquer Shine Line. These brushes are terrible. Super thin brush. Doesn't want to apply the polish properly. Pity the colour is so gorgeous. It's like the colour that I really like. It's purple and it's got pink and red, uh, sorry, pink and blue shimmers in it. Mm, pretty formula is just not very good. This patchiness going on in there. Oh dear. Uh, Orchid from Ultra 3. Mm. You can see why I like this polish. <laughs> oh, it's so gorgeous. It looks gorgeous in the bottle, it looks gorgeous on the nail. Um, but the Sally Hansen and it, although they look quite similar in the bottles, uh, they don't look the same on the nail. There's a lot more purple in the Ultra 3. It's a lot more blue purple. This is a lot pinker in tone. And the BYS in High Impact Purple. Which I thought was really funny that it's a bit sheer on the first coat because how is that at high impact? If I have to like put three coats on. Uh, so it is a lighter version of the Ultra 3 Orchid. They're actually very similar in terms of like shimmer and stuff. But the base of the BYS one is quite a bit lighter. Um, and I'm looking <laughs> at the next polish in the viewfinder and the holographic is having a little party. Um, yeah, so these three, again, they're not this, they don't look the same, they look completely different. So I will put on another coat of the China Glaze Holographic When Stars Collide. It's so pretty. And the uh, Joy one. Not that really either of them needed the second coat. They're both pretty much one coat polishes. Uh, yeah, so they are super duper similar. Like the colour is actually super duper similar. It's just that um, When Stars Collide has got that holographic in it, which just takes it to a whole nother level. Um, of course, the holographic is way more obvious when it's like dry, um, I find, but it's definitely there. Um, but yeah, they are, they are virtually exactly the same colour, except for the holographic. It, the holographic sort of makes it look a touch lighter than it actually is, but I think they're actually the same polish. Um, they just like whack some holographic particles into when stars collide. Uh, I'm just sitting here looking at the holographic, if you're wondering why I just keep on moving it around, it's because to the naked eye, I'm seeing so much holographic going on. Which is funny because normally when I look at it I don't really see that much of it. Must be because it's night time and I've got a fairly strong light shining on it. So, but yeah. So that is it for my purple comparisons. That was part six. That's like the end of it. Uh, yeah, so if you want to subscribe, click the button down below, leave me a thumbs up. If you like nail polish type videos, leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments and let me know what colour you would like to see next. I have done orange and blue and purple. So whatever you want to see next, if you have a preference, let me know. 
I'll see what I can do and I will see you in my next video. See ya!